Welcome back, everybody. Neat question here. Neat, I don't know why I went so high with that neat there, but neat question here. With all of the media outlets, you know, and I'm talking about regular media, not the one that your weird uncle that comes at Thanksgiving watches when he wears his tinfoil hat. Not that media outlet, but like the Fox News, Today Show, you know, what, what Hoda's talking about today, you know? Um, with all the media outlets preaching climate change, is it good stewardship for the church to kind of fall in line with this, or is it a step back? Now, if I'm understanding correctly, step back, I believe, means, are you saying it's like an idolatry? If we follow along with what society is preaching, is it us kind of taking steps back in our Christian life and just following the world? And the answer is yes. If we just do whatever is preached at us by society, by the media, it is an idolatry. Now, these aren't false prophets, though. I've heard some people say the media could be false prophets. No, no one on the Today Show or MSNBC claims to be sent by God to preach these things. They're just preaching an agenda, speaking one and spreading it. So they're not false prophets. It's the world, and we're called to overcome the world. So we don't get into climate change because the world has told us to, or take care of the this creation because the uh, people... At, I've already said MSNBC, Fox News, Today Show. Let's say Good Morning America, they tell you. That's not why we do it. We Christians tend to creation because that's what we were created to do. In the beginning, in the garden, Adam was put into the Garden of Eden to tend it and keep it. Now, he didn't tend and keep it so he could eat. Remember, that came after the fall. With toil, with the sweat of your brow, you will tend to the earth. It'll produce thorns for you. But that's how you'll get bread, is you have to do this now. You have to farm now. Earlier, Adam just tended to creation. He'd walk and pick a pomegranate, pick a banana, pick an orange, maybe a pluot. You know, the plum and apricot mix. I'm sure that was in the garden. You know, it wasn't a man-made thing. I'm sure it was there. But he picked these things and tended. Now we have the fall, and what we look forward to now is the new heavens and the new earth is tending to creation again this way. That's what Luther talks about in his Galatians lectures is unto eternity we will be in this new garden, this new creation, in which we'll be tending to it joyfully. So what do we do in the meantime between that, the fall, and this new creation is we tend to what God has given us. You don't abuse it. You don't throw trash everywhere. You don't abuse what God has given you. You take care of it. And there's joy in it. If you've ever just done it, go out to a garden and just get your hands dirty and tend to something. It's a delight. Yes, you get sweaty. Yes, it's, it's especially here in South Texas, it's hot and muggy. But it's a joy to do. And it's great. It, it kind of gets back to that Psalm 90, establish the work of our hands upon us. We keep our hands busy tending to God's creation because it's a gift to us. It's how we get our daily bread as well. But more than that, it's us serving what God has created and taking care of it. And that's what we do as newly created, free children of God. We're not doing it to be saved. That's kind of the media with climate change. You're doing this to save yourself and redeem something. No, because we are redeemed, we take care of what God has given us. And that's why we do it. So hopefully that answers your question, and um, it's fun times. Thank you for letting me deal with it. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.